Hi, this is Ed Hammerly from NJ Renewable Energy. Today we're going to be discussing the idea of cleaning off your solar panels, your solar modules in snow conditions. Um, obviously we'd wait for it to end, but I wanted to show you here uh, the type of situation that I have. Um, on, on this home, on the top portion we have some panels that are very close to uh, being flat. They're at 15 degrees. Uh, the other uh, ones that are at 35 degree angle are facing due south and on this portion of the house you'll see some about 30 degrees as well facing east and facing west. So some of these panels will clear faster than others from the type of snow that you have to the temperatures afterward to whether it's wet snow or, or, or a very cold um, uh, light snow. Um, but in this particular case today we're talking about a very very wet snow and this, that Rays that are facing east and west since they don't get the uh, sun all day long uh, the snow tends to hang out there a little longer and the worst problem I have is the upper portion of the roof which does face south but it is at a very low angle as I said about 15 degrees so there's losses to be had when we get snow and you should always determine whether or not you're gonna have to look at your own property and your own location as to whether or not um, it makes sense to try to clear the snow uh, for one safety is an absolute key. Uh, we're talking about depending upon what size system you have, you know, it may only be $5 or $8 or something like that or less of daily power usage of, of loss. So to risk your life, to climb on a roof, to climb on a ladder is ridiculous. It's something you do not ever want to do. Um, if you can use a product which I'm going to show you today where you can do it safely from the ground and clear things quickly uh, and you can make the power, why not? And, particularly if you're in a situation where you live in maybe a cabin or somewhere where uh, there is no uh, alternative power where you need these system you need this system working immediately so each case is is different it needs to be looked at as a case by case basis but take a look at what I've done here and watch how we do it and uh, learn a few things so is it worth your time and effort to clear snow off your panels here is the last 30 days of production during the winter of this 12.6 kW system. The best case scenario is about 30 kilowatt hours per day. You'll notice there are two sections where there's limited production. One lasted about two days and one is about six. If we assume the loss on any given day after snow at best case scenario is about 20 to 25 maybe 30 kilowatt hours for the day at 18 cents a kilowatt hour, that's anywhere from $3.60 to $5.40 per day loss. So the Snow Pro commercial foam head and the extension pole cost me about $90. So if we do some quick math and we assume that we're going to save about $4 a day, you're looking at 22 and a half, 23 days to get your money back. So to me, the return on investment was reasonable. I wanted to make power from the sun and I don't mind going outside and doing a little work. So the company I bought this from is called RoofRake.com. They sell several different models that go along with the Snow Pro head. I purchased this one because both are American made, the head as well as the telescoping pole. You're witnessing the actual first time that I ever used this product and I started off doing it wrong. You don't want to start at the top and pull down. That might seem like the way to do things, but you're better off starting at the bottom and working your way up. It takes about 10 minutes to get the feel for it, but once you do, you can move along rather quickly. You'll see here the outer portion is all foam. It gets slightly nicked here and there from grabbing a screw or two on the modules, but you can be rest assured it's not going to scratch them. In the renewable energy business, I am a huge proponent of ground mount systems. And here's my solar thermal system. It's easy to access, and while I was at it, I cleared it off in just a second or two.
So by now I have the technique going and you really can fly along rather quickly. Even if you miss a little bit of snow, and even under these conditions, which is complete overcast, in 10 or 15 minutes, they're completely clear. Needless to say, I was very happy with this product and would recommend it to anyone. Want to learn more about renewable energy, sustainability, or electric cars? Contact me at njrenewableenergy.com. Thank you.